Okay, uh, beginner's guide on how to trust. Well, trust means that uh, I can trust God that I'm not required to be here telling God how the universe should be run. Uh, I, uh, to have absolute trust means I don't need to be here. I can delegate everything. I can even delegate my existence to, to God, to the infinite. Uh, to the infinite wisdom. I, I don't need, you know, it's like, God, I'll, I'll do 100% surrender. I never, I don't need to be here any longer. I trust you completely for life in every aspect. Now, in, in practice, how do you do that? Or how do you get towards that? Well, I would say that um, one of the first things is, uh, are there any mechanisms at play which are repressing feelings? Because that's, that's an ego mechanism of control, usually to run away from fearful things or to gain pleasure. So it's like, um, uh, really, I, I'm feeling something that I don't want to feel. I'm going to eat a donut or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, watch Netflix. So that's, uh, that builds up repressed feelings. So I need to stop all the behaviors which are escaping, uh, which are... Uh, adding uh, repressed feelings and let those go and fill out the feelings. So that, that's actually a, an aspect of trust because it's not trusting to be trusting to carry on addictive mechanisms, um, which uh, uh, are basically adding fuel to, to egotism. The more I repress feelings with donuts, or whatever it is, the more the ego gets stronger and more in control because he's got huge anger, shame, huge all kinds of stuff which makes the ego. So it's a lack of trust to eat a donut, to repress stuff or to watch Netflix or whatever it is. So that's really a, an act of trust. I'd say that's basic trust. Uh, you can join 12 step fellowships or feel the feelings, watch my videos, just be with feelings. Don't use addictive mechanisms, donuts or TV. Uh, and feel them out until there's nothing there underneath uh, uh, and your neutrality. So that's number one to trust. Um, number two, beginner's guide, is, um, is uh, thoughts, the body. Now, you can actually feel things out. If you practice beingness or presence uh, and not identifying with thoughts or labeling anything that happens in life, but allowing things to spontaneously happen, then you are practicing trust because really the thing that wants to wrap it on and do things its own way is the personal self. So when the personal self wants to eat a donut or gamble or whatever it is, then that is lack of trust. So really trusting is not doing the urge the ego wants to do. So that, that's actually trust in the beginning, doing the opposite of what the ego wants to do, which then creates a lot of, you know, anxious thoughts or angry thoughts or feelings coming up. Uh, so that's actually trust is doing. So when you're doing what the ego doesn't want to do, you're displaying trust. So I'm a donut addict. So in the beginning, it was like, don't eat the donut. You want to eat the donuts? Don't eat the donuts. You want to watch Netflix? Don't eat it and see what comes up. And that's actually an act of trust of handing over power. OK, God, I'll trust you not to do these ego mechanisms. And so delete the ego, God, delete these ego mechanisms I do, which give my ego power so that I can delegate that and now be in your trust. And the last one is thoughts. You can, do, you can remove all thoughts through feel the feelings and not identifying anything. No thought, no labeling of any situation is required. Or you can use A Course in Miracles. This thought about money is it's meaningless every time it pops in or I cancel my belief in it. Or you can do the observer on the thoughts or the body or anything else. So what's, okay, uh, I'm actually experiencing thoughts right now, the future, the past, or whatever it is. Okay, so that means I'm not in trust. Okay, let me try and hand these thoughts over. So is there a witnesser here that doesn't want to latch on to these thoughts? Now, so that would be trust. Or, okay, something wants to think. Let me... Um, I can say I cancel this thought or this thought is meaningless or I can just try and not indulge in the payoff of constant thinking. So it's an inner intention 
a thing of I don't need to think. Um, let let grace handle everything. So those are the layers. So first, though, don't uh, the beginner's guide to trust is: Are you doing anything gross to repress your feelings and do the opposite until that thing that you want to do, the ego wants to do, is neutral? So do I ever want to eat a donut again? There isn't any desire to eat a donut. Do I need to watch Netflix? No desire, neutrality. When something's neutral, actually, there is no desire to do it. Uh, all enlightened teachers say there's no need or want. And actually, it probably doesn't exist for them because only things seem to exist and need attention when there's an ego duality. When the ego thinks it's really good, like I love donuts or I don't like tax bills, then it operates uh, from the ego. The person tries to handle it. I'm going to buy some more donuts and, and tear this tax bill up. So in trust, you just you just keep um, you see what's coming up. Is it an addictive mechanism? Is it a feeling? Is it just excessive thinking? And um, the thing is, like when those things start to get less loud or disappear, you're making great progress with trust. Um, and you'll start to get experiences. I've heard them from many people. I've had them that the more the person starts to disappear or get less loud, everything will start to go much better, uh, which is actually trust. You know, uh, it's like I'm too afraid. I have to keep thinking 100 miles an hour, eating donuts and uh, watching Netflix. So that's that's the opposite of, of trust.